This video is sponsored by Linode. Support the show and get a free $20 credit when you sign up using the offer code LinuxGamer19. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Google man, Gardner, the Linux Gamer. I don't know what that's about, Google man? <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Command and Conquer games, and, and hacking the uh, rules.ini file was really the first time that I ever had experience with coding or scripting or anything like that. Uh, especially uh, Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun and Red Alert 2. They were my, they were my favorites, and they really got me into programming and, and being a nerd. Uh, I remember I, I, I hacked the, uh, the monkeys in Red Alert 2 to have the Tesla coil attack. And uh, so they were like portable Tesla coils and they weren't like, you know, the Tesla tanks, like they were monkeys that I could build in my build queue and I could send them to the enemy base and they literally had the full Tesla coil attack. I loved that when I was a kid. I thought it was the greatest thing. So I'm going to assume that if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, then you'll know that like one of my favorite open source projects is OpenRA. Uh, it's a re-implementation of Westwood's classic Command and Conquer engine. So games like uh, Command and Conquer, uh, the original Red Alert, and Dune 2000, those games are fully re-implemented in an open source project. And uh, they're actually working on a Tiberian Sun mod for the game as well. And this, this is totally uh, legit because these games were released as freeware by Electronic Arts. So, you know, these classic games are available and the, the, uh, the resources of those games are being used in an open source project. And I just think that's fantastic. Now, it's one thing when you're playing the game to be uh, competing against like the AI, you know? Uh, the biggest issue is uh, that it kind of sucks. <laughs> So really, this is one of the only games that I've ever found that I really enjoy playing multiplayer over the internet. Uh, I'm not huge into multiplayer games. I, I prefer the single player experience, or if I'm playing multiplayer, I want the person next to me so that I can punch them in the head when I lose. That's how I roll. So it should come as no surprise that I've played a bunch of OpenRA over on Twitch with Raven and a few other of my friends. Um, we've had a blast over there and it's great, but uh, trying to find a lobby that allows us to customize it the way we want to play the game was kind of difficult. So I had to set up my own server uh, that allowed us to play the game the way we wanted. And several people have actually asked me about setting up an OpenRA server, so I wanted to make this video and, and let you guys in on, on how easy it is to actually set up an OpenRA server. So OpenRA used to uh, distribute the game as a dev package, but now they're distributing it as a, uh, as a as an app image, which is not my favorite thing in the world. But it does make it easier and more accessible for people who aren't, you know, familiar with how dev packages work, I guess. But the problem is, without the dev package, I've found that the easiest way to install uh, the server is to just build it from source. Um, trying to get the app image to run as a server, I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Uh, maybe I'm just uh, an idiot. You can tell me if I am down in the comments. Uh, you wouldn't be the first person to call me that. So basically, if you're, if you're afraid of uh, compiling from source, or you, you know, don't be. This is, this is one of the easiest uh, apps to compile. Uh, it really only requires like three or four steps and uh, I'll walk you through the whole process. Don't worry at all. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install uh, a couple of dependencies. Uh, these are required uh, by the game to actually pull in libraries and things that the game needs to, to actually install itself. So you're going to need uh, the Mono Framework, SDL2, Lua 5.1, and a few others, curl, unzip, and, and these things. I'll have a list of all the commands and all the packages you need to run over on the forums, forum.heavyelement.io. So once you've got those packages installed, you're going to go ahead and uh, get the source release. Keep in mind that these packages, uh, the packages that I'm featuring here might be out of date by the time uh, you're watching this video. So uh, wget the, uh, the package and download it right onto your server. You'll, once you've downloaded the package, it's only about 10 megabytes, you'll be able to extract the source archive and then you want to uh, CD into that directory. Uh, then you're just going to want to type make dependencies. And once that's done, you just type in make all. The last thing you're going to want to do is uh, create a shell script. You're going to want to place it in slash USR slash local slash bin. And uh, you can call it whatever you want. I call it openra server.sh. And then you, uh, you can copy and paste the, uh, the shell script that I have over on the forums 
into the shell script and uh, using Nano or whatever you want. So once you've uh, got these, this uh, shell script pasted in here, uh, you can modify the variables uh, in the shell script that, uh, to customize the name, uh, if you wanted to have a password or not, um, and if it's advertised online or if it's you know just a private server. And, uh, and then just save it, give it write permissions, and you're done, basically. I'll have a link and sources to all this uh, over on the forums, forum.heavyelement.io. You'll, you'll see a little badge up here. You can click on that. It'll take you right to the, uh, the resources you need to get this done. And you're basically done. Now, they're all, now all that's left to do is, uh, is really just launch, your, uh, launch the client, uh, the game, on your computer. Type in the IP address or the domain name of the server uh into the direct ip or if it's you know broadcasting as a as a online game then you can find it in the server list and uh you should be good to go now if you get an error which i did because uh i was running uh two different versions i i compiled the latest version and i was running like a really old version that i had in my downloads folder uh just make sure that both the client and the server are running the same version and uh then you just give your ip address or you know domain or the server name to your friends and uh, have fun. I mean, it's it's really a, a straightforward process. I feel uh, it. It yeah, it's great. And uh, OpenRA, like I said, is one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, it's really worthwhile uh, to 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 create your own server and uh, play OpenRA and have a blast with your friends. Now, all of this assumes that you have a server to actually uh, do this on. Now, that's where today's sponsor comes in. Uh, right now, you can get your own VPS, that's a virtual private server from Linode, and a free $20 credit on your Linode account by using the offer code LinuxGamer19. Linode offers a new sleek and stylish cloud manager that allows you to spin up your own server fast and easy. Linode has at your disposal basically all the popular distributions that you could ever want to use as a server, uh, including uh, Ubuntu, which is what I use to actually film this tutorial. Uh, but they also have CentOS, Fedora, OpenSUSE, and uh, it's, it's great. You can even bring your own image uh, or, you know, create a server and then duplicate the image. It's really cool and really powerful stuff that they have. Um, and it's all done through a web front end, which I think is just fantastic because as a web developer, that's my bread and butter. Linode has nine data centers across the world with two more that are set to open this year. So if you're playing OpenRA and all your friends live on uh, the East Coast of the United States, you can uh, plop your server down right there in Newark, New Jersey and have, have a game that runs super fast with minimal ping. And Linode offers a newly revamped API that actually allows uh, for your code to better integrate with their service. Now, I've been using Linode to host the Heavy Element forums, and there's a lot of nice things to say about their service. Uh, one of my favorite things uh, is that they actually have their own uh, mirror of Ubuntu's repositories, uh, and uh, installing software is blisteringly fast. It's actually really awesome. Yeah, I just wanted to thank Linode for the opportunity to sponsor a video. And, uh, and if you're in need of a VPS and you want to help the channel out, hit the Linode link in the description and uh, use the offer code LinuxGamer19. But what do you think? Is it easier to uh, use the app image and I just don't know what I'm talking about? Leave me a comment and let me know or hit me up on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. Um, if you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon or you can pick up a t-shirt. There's a link in the description. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.